Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day so far. I'm just gonna go over some of our drawing techniques to create the covers of our comics. Within the last couple days, you should have gotten your comic cover started and in the next few days, we'll be thinking about our comic strips before we have some really solid work days. Um, but just gonna play some videos that I have previous re previously recorded. They are in a stop motion format, so I will pause and discuss along the way. Um, but I've been trying out my new document camera, and hopefully this is a smooth way of, of seeing how things are going. So I'm going to minimize myself here down to the corner. And the first video that we're going to watch is really just the beginning and the introductory aspects of the drawing. So it's going to be if you will, a stick person, so that we can create the gestures and motions that we want and then build the body on top of it. So once you do that, you can think about how our joints and our muscles are inter interlocking in the creation of our bodies. So I recommend using circles for the joints. This is super helpful for me when I am creating more of a muscular individual or if I want to have a nice transition from say the hips to the legs and then the thighs to the shins. Um, it's just super helpful to have that curvature of where our knee would be. Now as you get going, what you'll want to do is draw lightly. And the reason why is because once you get that body established, your character and the costume and the design is established, you're going to want to erase the things that you no longer need. So as long as you're drawing lightly as our introduction of our, of our drawing and as of, of our comic goes, then you'll be able to take away anything that you no longer need. Now I wanted to make sure that my character was the main focus but I also wanted to have a background that was interactive and telling a little bit about the story. And I also wanted to have the title really pop and be a part of the frame and of the composition. So make sure that when you are creating your cover that you are doing something along those lines as well. Having a bold title that catches the attention of your audience, having a character that is the main focus, and then having a background that tells a little bit of the story. All right, so I'm going to go on to our next video here. This is just um, focusing on the on the title and how you can lay out for bubble letters or for open letters. Now, when we say open letters, that is just another term for bold, big letters. Um, open letters would be a bubble letter with a point or an edge uh, that comes to a, a point rather than the rounded. Now what you can do is write out your title just as you would. You can think about the spacing, get the scale and the size exactly how you would like it. And then what you do is you go back and put those double lines in and that's gonna create that open letter. Now to close things out, you're gonna wanna add some details. Not only do we want to know how this cover is going to tell part of the story, but you're also going to want to have your mark on the front, maybe a price like a real comic. And then you can also use our references in Canvas to maybe add some more professional details to your cover. So once I had some background details added in, I created a little box and put Keitel Comics, so I made the brand of what my comics would have. I had a couple of students who made me laugh <laughs> as they pointed out that my uh, piece of space matter, uh, my piece of, uh, like, oh, what's the word I'm thinking of? I'm blanking. But space matter does well. They said it looked like a turkey, and I do not disagree. <laughs> But as you can see here, I've got a great established title. My character is laid out. I have erased the things that I no longer need. I'm working on a background that is telling a story. And overall, I'm ready to move on to some coloring and more details of that cover. I hope you're all having a great day.